on guys so we're here at the androscoggin river again uh we're up in i think this is lewisville is what it was called something like that and uh a little bit of a mill town railroad town um definitely urban fishing so we're gonna go down there's a memorial over here and a big dam and go there see how it is and probably hit the dam we hit two days ago on the way down to portland to catch our flight home so you know Hopefully we get on some, eating a little bit of breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it, and then we're going to get on the water. There he is. <laughs> so you were saying that about putting a weight on the bottom. Oh, oh never mind. Nope. I have a bag of baits, drop shot baits, up in the van. So, yeah, but I don't have the, the baits for them. <laughs> That's what they yeah, but it's so much fun when they jump. It's a fish. I was all confused. <laughs> it's like no bottom down here because it's too fast. Yeah. How are you getting these way out there in the middle like that? <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny. Oh my God, I'm in the bush. No way. Wow. Two casts, $9 bait, brand new. Just tied it on, gone. I don't know whatever this guy is. It's a large mouth. Wow. One of them's a large mouth. That one's a small mouth. That one is. The large mouth is still over there. On the ultralight. On the ultralight. Come on in here, buddy. Stop it. Oh, there's my first Androscoggin smallmouth of the day. On the ultralight, the only thing that seems to be catching me fish on this trip. <laughs> Definitely windier today. Go right to the dam or right over here? I kinda wanna go right to the dam. See all the minnows? Yeah. Behind that big rock? If I can make it here, I can make it back. That's where we're at right now.
I broke off. <laughs> Alrighty. We have made it to the top of this. I can't say that. We made it to the top of this thing finally. I don't know if we're even gonna catch a fish from up here, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, we're pretty high up here and it is windy and I'm a little timid, but I think I can catch a fish. I'm gonna throw drop shots. I think that's the best option because I don't know what it looks like down at the bottom there. Oh, I got one. I lost a big one just now, and I don't know how I feel anymore. I don't know what to do. Oh, he messed up my... So it kind of messed our knot up, so we gotta retie that. I'm gonna get back down there for that big one. This time he's mine, and I'm gonna climb down there a little more too. You should see all this bait right here. There's minnows that are this big. Hundreds of them right here. I don't know what kind of bait those are. Oh, they're all clearing out now. Hundreds of them though. There's a good fish. There's a good fish. Coming at me. I got a good one. Heavy fish, heavy fish. Not, not humongous, but it's a good one. No way. So there's my fish, and there's the tube, and there's the bait that he just spit up. I get him unhooked quickly. Okay. Oh, crap. Well, he got back safely. Need to get him on hook quick. But you can see that in the water there's a white tube and a minnow he spit up. I think this color might not be it. I might have to go back to purple. For a minute there was every cast I was getting a hit. You see all the bait swirling right here? On this rock, there's just hundreds of them swirling. Got one. Oh, he didn't know he was hooked. Just sitting there too. I wasn't even doing nothing. What are you using? Drop, sh drop shot. Another victim. It works over at Twin Branch in Mishawaka. Airborne! <laughs> Jump again for me. Jump again for me. Jump again for me. No. No, no. Camera, goodbye. Took my bait, need a new one. <laughs> there was one, <laughs> it was there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think there would be one under there. <laughs> Holy crap, they got a lot of energy. 
I didn't think he'd be under there. We'll send him back home. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> That's the end of the drop shot. Darn, that felt like a good fish. I know the audio is just great right now. I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna tie a Ned rig on. I think I'm gonna throw, yeah, I'm gonna tie a Ned rig on. This is insane, man. This is just stuff you do not get by me. <laughs> I'm letting you out of there. Man, is that slick though. <laughs> it's slick. Oh my God. What do I have? <laughs> what do I have? On the crank, man, I got a small mouth on the crank. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the crankbait, it happened finally. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yes. Perseverance, guys. Perseverance. Now we gotta go for a bigger one. Got another one. Crankbait. Good one. Maybe not. <laughs> Here it goes. Okay, another on the crank. You'll be real careful with those smallmouths when you're catching them on crankbaits because they will hook you very easily. Try not to fall. <laughs> I saw him. That was a two. Three. You would have had to step back there and slide them up or something. <laughs> that was a good fish. It's on camera. <laughs> Christopher, it was three. <laughs> it was three. It was fat. Oh my god, it was three. I'm scared of this log right here. I should have let him stay under. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a little out of order, but there's a ton of fish down here below me. I'm going to see if one of them will bite. What are those down there beneath me? There's a few fish right here. Keep a little bluegill down there. I might be able to knock off a bucket list if one of them was a red breast. Got one. Probably small mouth. Not quite what I was going for. Not sure how I'm gonna get him up here with this ultralight. Wow. Well, there's a small mouth out of this pool. See you later. It's like I was just saying, it's probably gonna be a little out of order because my outro is uh, up there. But I saw this pool when I was coming down and I couldn't resist it. Oh, Ooh, two of them came up for it. Ha ha, I got one of them. I got one of the gills. Please be a red breast. Guys, I think it is. He's a little messed up. I'm gonna get this lure out of him. That might. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lip him because he's kinda jacked up. I think 
that's my first red breast. It looks like it might be a hybrid. What a gorgeous little fish. He's a little messed up. We're gonna get him back. Yes, I think that's it. I think I got my ready. Can't walk away yet though. Got one. Let me get a picture of this one. And off he goes. That one's for Instagram, so someone can help me identify that fish. There's a bigger one right there eyeing it right now. Oh, he swiped at it. He missed it, though. All right, guys. That's going to be it for the Flyest Adventures from Maine. I know, uh, I know it wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be, but it was still fun. I mean, this is just... Look at, look at that view behind me. I can't think of a better place to close out. I know the water sound is probably great, but it's just, I mean, look at, just look at me. Look at me. So we're gonna head towards Portland. My dad's already down in the bottom of the, the dam, so I gotta get down there and catch up with him. But we're gonna go get some food. We're gonna go find our plane, and we're gonna head back home to Indiana. So I appreciate you guys joining me on this one. It was a blast from start to finish. I. Honestly, wouldn't have had it any other way. I can't wait for the next trip out here to the great north. Going back to flat land, as the main, Mainers say. So, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy that B-roll of some more lobster, probably, and a little bit of flight stuff. And that's it for me. Next time you see me, I'll be back home in Indiana. Thank you.